In today's video, we will learn how to work more smoothly with MicroPython on our ESP32, and that's coming up right after the intro. Hello world! My name is Asale, meaning basic in the language Hasa. Today will be a short video on how to use a code editor and easily upload your MicroPython code onto your ESP32. This is a continuation on the previous video where we learned how to install MicroPython on an ESP32. Link for that in the upper right corner on screen now or in the description down below. Now for the code editor, I've chosen my personal favorite Visual Studio code. This is my personal preference, but you can still use some other code editor if you would like to. Firstly, Google for Visual Studio Code, install, or click the link in the description down below. Now download Visual Studio Code and go ahead and install it immediately. After having installed Visual Studio Code, you can select the Windows key and type in Visual Studio Code or VS Code, and instead of clicking Open, click on New Window. Once opened, you can start with a new file or open folder. Let's go with open folder and choose a location you want to work in. Doesn't really matter, but I called my folder MicroPython Blinking Test. Now open this and next we will want to add a file by going inside the left tab and click the right mouse button and select new file and call the file blink.py. Now open the extensions tab by clicking here or clicking Ctrl plus Shift plus X and type in Python and install this extension. This extension, as you can see, gives a rich support for the Python language, such as IntelliSense, linting, debugging, and etc. To go back to your folder structure, type Ctrl plus Shift plus E. Now, if you remember from the previous video, you have to import machine and use Python, so let's import that now. And let's import time as well, since we will want to see the light visually blink on and off every second. Next, let's create a variable for the pin by giving it two needed parameters, the according pin with the LED and if the pin has to be in or output. Next, let's create a function inside Python. This is somewhat different to functions from Arduino, since there is no use of brackets. Next, we want to press tab to write to write code inside this function, let's create a variable lab that's equal, that's equal to zero. And next we will want to write a while loop that will check if lab is smaller than the parameter max that you have to give when calling the function toggle. And again press tab to go inside the while loop. Now we want to turn on the built-in LED by writing. And after the LED is turned on, we want to wait one second like this. And now turn the LED again off and after this wait one more second. Now to keep track on which lab the LED is, we have to add one number to lab like so. Now that's done, we have to go outside the while loop and the function by pressing enter and control backspace. And now to call our function to execute, type toggle and give the amount of times the LED has to go on and off. To upload the code, however, however, we have to install another extension first with pip. So open the terminal by clicking Ctrl plus J and select the tab Terminal. Now we install MP with pip. Once that's installed, check for any updates by pressing the upwards arrow key and add dash dash upgrade to the end. Now to upload our code, you have to plug in your ESP32 again and open your device manager again and check which port it's on. Once you know the port, you can type this inside the terminal of VS Code. But before pressing enter, make sure you have closed PuTTY as you might still have a session open that's connected to the ESP32 and then you won't be able to run this command. Now, if you closed PuTTY, then go ahead and press enter to run the command and run the code on the ESP32. And as you can see, the LED is turning on and off each second five times in a row. Please consider checking out my Patreon page as well, that would be awesome. There I upload all of my code with in-depth explanation of each video I ever created on this channel, link for that down below or on screen now. So that's it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you won't miss out on the next video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world!